We're going to bring in a former Fed economist. He worked at the Board of Governors, Michael Gapin, senior U.S. economist at Barclays Capital, joins us. Now, Michael's usually based in New York, but he joins us today from the Lion City, Singapore. Good to have you on the program, Michael, and great to have you in the uh, Asia Pacific. So, uh, what did you think of uh, Ms. what Mr. Bernanke had to say today? Well, I thought that the chairman walked a, a fine line. On, on one hand, some of the data does look a bit better relative to the second quarter, but obviously the, the strength of the recovery isn't nearly what the Fed would want uh, at this stage of, of the cycle. The U.S. economy is being buffeted by a, a higher degree of uncertainty, and that's coming from a variety of sources, mainly from Europe, but also U.S. fiscal policy, and in recent weeks, a fear of a hard landing in, in China. And in periods where uncertainty rises, consumers and businesses often take a step back. So we've seen hiring slow down. We've seen fairly tepid consumption growth. And what this does is it leaves the U.S. economy in a, in a more vulnerable state. The economy struggles to grow persistently above trend and reduce the unemployment rate. And so we, we sit at a very slow, albeit positive, growth rate, but it leaves us susceptible to the next shock and of course the big risk is or the big fear is that something comes out of Europe which would tumble both the European economy and the US economy into a recession. Okay so Ben Bernanke saying that the recovery is close to faltering. Michael your opinion as to the odds right now of a double dip in the US I'm say two and five what's your outlook? Uh, we would say some of the models that, that we have that, that look at this, we would say about one in three, so about a 30 percent chance. Uh, that is certainly elevated relative to where we were earlier in the year. It's not as high as some of these indicators have pointed in the past. So we would say certainly warning signals have risen, but higher uncertainty alone usually isn't something that sends the economy into a recession, but certainly we're vulnerable to a significant risk event in Europe. Well, the uh, Fed chairman is saying that the central bank can take further steps to sustain a recovery. What does that mean? What sort of steps is he talking about, considering we already have Operation Twist? Well, I, I really think that the main response at this point would be further asset purchases. So if there was a, a, a larger global uh, slowdown and, and a transmission of, of risk aversion into the U.S., we think it would come through financial markets by widening credit spreads, uh, sending equity valuations lower um, to the extent that there was systemic risk coming out of Europe related to the European banking system and sovereign debt crisis. You might see the Fed reopen some of its previous liquidity facilities. Uh, so there are some things the Fed could do on the margin, but in, in terms of the shock that's facing us, I think the, the most likely ones are more asset purchases and some of the liquidity facilities that were used in the past. All right, Michael, thank you for sharing your thoughts today. Enjoy your trip across the Asia-Pacific. Michael Gapin of uh, Barclays Capital.